Opioids sell in 53 days. That's faster than the national average, which is 75 days. All of that information coming from Realtor.com. So instead of thinking of us as a seller's market, think of us as a very hot seller's market. So when there's a lull in the movement of homes, that's your time to make your move. I've never seen the market perform the way it's performing right now. Southfield-based realtor Sonny Jordan says this is a unique home buying time in Metro Detroit. And this is uh, a highlight of, of uh, Detroit in the heyday. The team at EXP Realty, which Sonny is a part of, purchased this six-bedroom colossus that boasts an original Chrysler freeze box, built in 1922. More of a formal dining room. December 1st, it was picked up by EXP Realty to rehab for about 260000 Before the market fully recovers, that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a deal. You may entertain here as well. Inventory is low, a fancy word for the number of available homes. A lot of people are staying put. I'm paying less than I would have to pay in rent in another home, let alone buying another home. Realtor.com tells Fox 2 the situation is even tighter in Metro Detroit. Inventory down 11%, which is lower than the national decline of 7.5%. So the benefits of buying in December during this seller's market? Sellers are more willing to negotiate because although it is definitely their market, they don't want to winterize the house. They don't want people traipsing through. Some may want the money for the holidays. Plus, consider this. Home prices in Detroit are expected to jump 4.77% next year. By the way, generally winter is usually a good time to buy a home, plus interest rates are expected to go up, so you might be able to save yourself a little money if you move right now. One other thing to keep in mind, kind of a fun little fact, Detroit is actually the 15th hottest market for home sales. In Detroit, I'm Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.